Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today I want to give you my final review of the Vitamix Food Cycler Eco 5. Now, I know that I have not been putting out a lot of videos, and this unit is the reason why. Um, for those that are looking to change the way that they compost, or maybe worm composting, they don't have the space, they can't do a compost pile, this is not composting, but it is a great way to reduce your food waste and add it to planters in your house or out in your garden or your yard for those that have smaller yards. Or you could really just kind of spread this in any yard or field you can find. It's basically just taking the material, grinding it down, and dehydrating it. Now, with that, I've been using this for, I think it's five months now, and it has been game, a game changer for me. Uh, I did not expect to like this this much. I did not expect it to work as well as it did, but I have thrown a ton of material in here from lobster shells, mango seeds, peach pits, peanut shells, and a full chicken that we, we carved it up, the chicken, and we threw the entire chicken in there. There were, you know, just the bones with a little bit of meat left on, and it just plows through this stuff. It was really sort of mind-boggling to me. I did not expect it to do this well. Um, oh, also fish skins. I almost forgot about fish skins. That was a big one because I usually throw those in the trash or down the garbage disposal. If I throw them in the trash, they smell a lot. Same with chicken bones. I usually throw those in the trash. I wait till my trash day to get them. And this was able to take those and just grind them up. And then I would just sprinkle them in my yard. This is really for those that, for those that really do not have any way to compost or the time, or you've got little kids running around, you just don't have that time, this is a very, very quick solution to composting. Or, and as again, I hate to say composting, it's not composting. And I know people are gonna drag me in the comments for that, that this is not composting. It isn't. It is really just grinding up and dehydrating your food. But it works really well, because my primary goal was to stop sending things to the landfill. I still send some of my food waste to the landfill, like I said, chicken bones, fish skins, lobster shells, crab shells. Um, I still send those to the typically to the landfill. I wanted to stop doing that. And the reason is, is that the landfill near me, I know, is filling up. They think they gave it a two, two more years for its lifespan, and they're trying to extend it. But eventually it's going to close down, and then we're going to have to ship our food a lot further away to compost it. So with that, I'm just, I'm incredibly impressed. Now, with anything that you have, there's always some negatives. And there are some negatives with this that we can get into here. First off, this is supposed to go in your kitchen. I had to put it down in the basement. It does give off some odors when you're composting or when it's food cycling. Well, let's call it that food cycling, the food in here. Over its cycle, the cycle lasts between five and eight hours. That was no issue, ran it overnight, no problem at all. But this, there was an odor that could come out of here, especially when grinding up things that have like a strong citrusy smell. That didn't smell bad, but like things like broccoli, they didn't really smell all that great. And it kind of, you know, luckily I kept this in the basement out of the way. So there is some issues with odors to it, even though it does have that, as I can show you right here, this carbon filter right here, it just did not, it didn't really fix that issue. Um, it still worked, but it wasn't as, it wasn't something you want to have running way of guests over. I'll put it that way. Maybe overnight in a larger place, like the downstairs of my house, since I live on two levels, that would have been fine, but I wouldn't have wanted this like in a one bedroom place in the city really maybe. It maybe would smell a little bit too much for that. Now, the other issue that I know people are gonna have a problem with is that this does use electricity. It uses about one kilowatt on average for me per cycle. Now, you can help this out a lot by you know, you know putting in stuff that's fairly dry. So a lot of people put in, like if you throw in watermelon in here, this thing's gonna use like three or four kilowatts because that's primarily water and this heats up to boil off the water. So it's gonna be very, very wasteful at that point. But if you're actually throwing all your food scraps in a bucket and then adding it to this like, you know, after a day or two, it's gonna be a lot drier, it's not gonna run as long and it's not gonna use as much electricity. So one kilowatt on average, that's, a little higher than I would have liked to have seen. I mean, you're talking, you know, if you run that every day, 360 kilowatts a year, you know, that's that's not that bad. If you divide it by, let's say, you know, 10 cents per kilowatt, you know, you're talking like $36 a year to run it. That's not too bad, depending on where you get your electricity. That could also change your opinion. If it's all coal, 
you know, that's, that's one thing. If it's hydro, that's another, that's more green. I actually have, I don't have panels on my house, but I pay a company to put solar into the grid. So I actually pay 100% for solar. So this is all solar powered in my house, technically. Um, so it's a little bit different, but yeah, if I was maybe in a coal powered plant, you know, I maybe wouldn't want to run this as much. Granted, I'm running it overnight, which means that there is that base load that you have during the, the that runs overnight no matter what. So I'm using it typically when there's more power generation than electricity usage, sort of why they have EVs that charge overnight. Now, the other thing that is a, and I'm sure this is a major concern also for a lot of people, this is expensive. It is a $600 unit, uh, that's its MSRP. I would definitely wait for this to go on sale if you're looking to purchase it. Uh, there's no reason to spend full price, I got this for free from Vitamix or its advertising company. Uh, I, they told me to give an honest review and this is an honest review. I'm not you know, trying to like mix this up in any way. This has been a very impressive unit. I was actually debating originally, I was just giving this, you know, like using the unit for a little bit then giving it to my sister. I will be incorporating it into my normal composting because there are so many things that I can put in here that I just wasn't expecting and it's saving me that landfill trip with food waste. Um, we've had our food waste drop a little bit more with this and that has been a very big positive for me. Now that comes to the last negative that I have for this unit and it's something that you can actually fix with money. Um, and that is, I'm going to open this up here, you only get one of these right here. So this is the bucket that you fill up. It comes with a nice lid that goes on top. I don't have it around me. Um, but the thing is, is that I found that I would slowly fill this up over a couple days. I'd put it in the machine overnight and then I'd have another container by the sink to start filling up while this was running because my kids would go down and get a midnight snack of a banana or an apple or a clementine and they were throwing the scraps in the trash because I didn't have a bin out. So I might buy another one of these simply because that will make it a lot easier to exchange them back and forth. And that's the only thing that I really found was a, for the negatives on this. Now, the one, uh, the one thing I will say, uh, this isn't a negative. I had zero issues really running this unit. I only had it stopped twice out of the 100 plus times I ran it. And that was because I added in a ton of asparagus and it stopped it. And as soon as I it had an orange light on the front here, and I was like, okay, let me open it up. I moved some stuff around. I realized it was kind of jammed up a little bit, put it back in, started it right back up, no problem. And then that happened again when I threw in artichokes. So I think the real issue with this unit is if you throw in these very, very fibrousy materials, they kind of get stuck in there and they get crammed into little crevices and everything. So you really want to be careful with that. Make sure you maybe add those in in small doses rather than fill up the unit with asparagus, which is what happened when I had a bag that went bad within a day, or I think it was bad when I bought it. I just didn't realize it, but it was about two pounds of asparagus. I broke it up into pieces, threw it in here, and it just did not like that very much. Other than that, I've had zero issues really. Um, if you're running through a lot of shellfish, like lobsters, it does create a dust. And that dust actually was showing up on the outside of the unit, on the inside. So I'd be really careful and make sure you don't just throw in lobster shells by itself. Again, you probably want to mix it with things to kind of balance it out a little bit. Now with that, I was absolutely shocked that basically I threw in two full lobsters that my wife and I ate and it just was like crunch, 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 and it was gone. It was just dust. Um, when I was working with it, I did put a, an N95 mask on because I was really worried about the dust from it. It was a very different material than what came out with the other things I put through the system. Now, on to what I've been doing with this waste once I put it through the system. I had this fine granular material that's really nice to look at, very easy to use. I added some to my worm bins. It does cause them to heat up. And this is where I can really see if you have a compost pile or somebody that has one, but you cannot seem to throw certain things in it like bones or fish skins without having creatures dig in your pile or, you know, it just doesn't, they never break down. You can use this for that and then add it to your compost pile. This actually heated up my systems a lot to the point I had to remove the top off of them because of how much heat it was producing. It was killing the worms probably inside of it. I mean, at one of them, it heated up to over a, almost 100 degrees because it was hot composting. I had way too much. And it was hot composting, and it was basically breaking down. A slight odor in my basement from it, but really not that bad. It kind of smelled like earth. So that's really not that bad. And the majority of things I really had no issues with. 
Now, again, going back up to the, the fact that I wouldn't put this in my kitchen, the other thing is that you have a lot of humidity coming out of here. And if you put that underneath your cabinets like I have back here, this is going right up into your cabinets and I don't know if that'll cause a mold issue. So again, I really would not keep this in my kitchen and I wouldn't put this anywhere where it's enclosed where it's gonna build up moisture that could really harm your wood or materials in that area. So with that, I'm sure you have some questions. Please ask away. I am, as I said, I am thoroughly impressed with this unit. I will be, I was planning to give it away to my sister who was once one. Instead, I'm going to tell her to buy one or maybe I'll buy one for her. I was really impressed with it. Uh, for myself, I might buy a second bin. Um, also with that, as I said, I've run it over a hundred times. I still have, I was really trying to get to the point where it would tell me to replace the carbon. That hasn't happened yet. Um, and it's been sort of surprising. I really thought at this point, five months in, it would tell me to replace it. I was running it a lot, especially when I first got it. I was running it between two and three times a day. And I essentially emptied out my freezer, which had a ton of food in there, which is the other reason I've not been doing any worm videos is I had to restock all this frozen food that I had to go into my bins. Um, I basically was putting everything into here and it kept up with it. No problem. In fact, you know, it's something where if I had two of these containers, I could easily run this for a family of four and having guests over and things like that, like Christmas dinner and things like that. I also threw, um, another thing I threw in here was deli meat, uh, which typically we don't have leftovers of, but there's a couple times it went bad really quickly or just didn't taste right. It went in the system, no problem. Um, Eggshells, they just get ground up. I don't have to worry about the entire processing point that I do of throwing them to my oven over here and kind of baking them to heat them up then crunching them down into shells. Nope, just throw it in here, it's all done. Um, so for those on a time crunch, I'm gonna highly recommend this unit. Uh, now compared to the other units that are probably cheaper, like I think Lomi and they have another Vitamix food cycler that's a little bit cheaper, this one, from what it looks like, the interior grinding mechanism on this is just better designed. It looks like a garbage disposal. There's fewer moving parts. It basically just spins around and you've got the blades or the, the solid steel pieces on the outside that grab the food and just tear it apart. It's got a really robust motor and it really did a great job. And actually, now that I think about it, there's one other thing I'm going to mention too. It's on the bottom of this bucket. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a lot of silver on the bottom. This is pretty heavy. This is a solid piece of steel that heats up enough to boil water. In fact, at one point it did look like soup. But on the bottom of here, there is a little bit of grease. Um, there, it is raised off the ground, so it's not going to get all over your counters. But there's tons of times where I put my hand on the bottom to empty out the bucket. And I just put my hand on the bottom and go to empty it. And I got grease all over my hand. So just be a little bit careful with that. Um, I don't know if the other ones have that issue or not. But that's one of the few things that I had an issue with. And other than that, I'm highly impressed with this unit. I will continue to be using it. Uh, I will hopefully be getting back into my worm composting as well. But really, if you are somebody that cannot run a compost pile, you've tried worm composting, this might be your solution. Um, you do need a place to put the material. You are going to get a lot. I was just sort of taking that bucket and just throwing it around in my yard, and it does just sort of soak in. Um, no issues really with animals. I had a couple deer and fox that came to my yard, kind of licked in the areas that I dumped it, but really nothing major. So with that, again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and ask, and I will get back to you. As far as the what this can grind, I'm truly impressed, and I think Vitamix did a great job with this unit. I have not had to replace anything yet. I've had zero issues with it. And it is a solid built unit, just like their blenders are, um, which I've also been looking to get. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll send me one of those two to review since I do a lot of fruit shakes. But uh, overall, highly recommend it. Again, if you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have one of these, I'm also really curious to, think what, to, to know what you think of them. Uh, it's, as I said, this has been something that I've been wanting to actually have for a long time in review. And I just, I really had trouble convincing myself to purchase one. Had I had I purchased this, I would have been incredibly happy with my purchase. But again, I'll wait, I would wait for a sale and I'll try to put out, if I see it go on sale, I'll try to put out a short saying, hey, it's on sale, buy it now. So with that, links down below if you're looking to purchase this. And thank you for watching. And again, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this.